Hi. Uh, in this slide, a picture is hopefully worth a thousand words. Uh, what this is is a graphic representation of a customer profitability ranking report. So what a company did was they said, let's build uh, cost to serve models so we can figure out what it costs to take care of each customer. Then we know their gross margin dollars. So if we subtract cost to serve from that, we'll get a net profit figure for the customer. Then we can take the number one most profitable customer and say, here they are right here. Then we'll take number two and add them to them and so forth. So by the time we get to 10% of the customers, that's a bad line, um, you know, we're getting to sort of about 100% of the, of the operating profit. Notice in this particular slide that, it, that the, the peak internal profits from customers settles out here at about 125% at, at maybe 50% of the customers. Um, and then, gen and it's called a whale curve because this looks like the front end of the whale, and over here is the tail of the whale. And notice that you know just one or two customers is destroying a lot of the net, the net, the peak net profit over here. Now, this particular slide suggests generically that obviously the customers who are at the front end here, you don't want to lose them. You want to maintain them and grow them. But I'd be a little bit more sa sensational that I go over here and say, these guys. Uh, we couldn't afford to lose them. That, that would be a, a total wipeout. So what is the, the best defense is a good offense? What, how do we take this group of customers to a whole other level of service value proposition and find a few more like them and, and maybe get, you know, maybe twice the volume out of this particular, you know, niche and strata of customers that we have? And uh, let me just clean up the slide here. Um, The, uh, in this category, they're saying here we have a lot of, of customers that are sort of we're breaking even on. So if we could lower the cost of taking care of them through more efficient services, then of course they would start to actually be slightly going up, that we'd create a little bit of profit. And, and that's really a lot of these customers for the traditional wholesaler that goes to market out of a deep warehouse, district warehouse, where there's a lot of people driving by and they have outside salespeople. This would be the wholesale model where you need actually a different location, like the Fastenal store that, that you might see. And then down at this end, the, uh, the authors, this one suggests that we should fix them. And clearly we, we can, because what happens in distribution channels is wherever you have a big losing customer, uh, all of our costs are mirrored by them more or less. So actually they are buying in it very inefficiently. So we can turn a lose-lose relationship into a win-win or remove. It's almost never necessary to remove a customer. You may unilaterally change prices, terms, et cetera, so that you can make money on them and they may choose to leave and go paralyze somebody else. But often those kinds of customers are cherry pickers. And because you've got a wonderful location or because you've got a lot of goofy items that they happen to need, you still have the cherries. So you change the terms. They can't go somewhere else because they can't get those items from the, from the normal number one, two, three suppliers that they use. So most of these things can turn out to be very good stories. It's literally a lead to gold alchemy kind of story. So that's a, a whale curve. And we'll look at whale curves for uh, SKUs and suppliers uh, uh, in later slides. Thank you.